Hey everyone, Legend and Molly coming at you. We're in the Alabama Safari Park, which is a 350-acre drive-through safari. You can see cows and animals attacking vehicles, and that's because it's about $20 to get in here, and for $5 you could get a bucket of feed so that the animals come right to, uh, to get some food from you. So this should be an experience. Molly, are you, how are you feeling driving the car? I'm terrified. Yep, there is a llama who's who's coming right. <laughs> feed it! Feed it! <laughs> ah, it's on my pants! <laughs> no! <laughs> no, that's enough! That's enough! We gotta feed all the animals! You're feeding one hungry llama! <laughs> I don't... Uh, here! Oh, it's all over my pants! Ooh. I'm terrified. <laughs> no, no, it's it, there, there, there. The food's, the food's gone. <laughs> I don't like this. I don't like this at all. <laughs> Look at that cow. Mm -mm. <laughs> I can't move. No. Maybe if we roll up the windows, we can't. Away? Oh, we can't. It's the rules. <laughs> Oh, it's it's all over my crotch. I'm stuck on the thing, <laughs> so I oh, can't. There's move. a cow. Oh, you are adorable. Hi. Yep, you're just uh, sticking your your big cow head in my. Yep. Look at your fuzzy little nose. Ooh, that's a lot of slobber. Please don't. Oh, no, it's in my car. I'm like, oh. I'm stuck right now. I literally can't move. Oh my. <laughs> Oh no, it's slobbering on my car! Okay. Here, here. I don't know how to get out of here. Oh, my pants are almost clean. Yes, please go. No. No. <laughs> <laughs> hey, there's a zebra over there. That's great. Well, this has been a terrifying first few minutes. No, we don't have any food. Please don't eat my pants. Hi. What happened to the feed? It's on the ground right now on my floor. Oh, look, a cow. <laughs> it's dripping everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> There's another llama. Oh. Oh my. I mean, now it smells like poops. Okay. Alrighty. Uh, it's a very interactive experience from what we could tell so far. All right. I'm terrified. No, 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 no. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, no. You know, my head. I don't like this. <laughs> Oh, oh no! <laughs> oh, why do they keep every single one of them comes into the car? <laughs> I'm never driving through one of these again. <laughs> never. Nope. Okay, well, um, there we go. There's an emu who is uh, completely inside that person's vehicle in front of us. Oh, Oop, I think that emu might have just gotten Ran over. a little run over. I like how people honked to get the animals out. I imagine, yeah, I, I, I imagine it would be very difficult to get animals out. It is terrifying to drive. Oh, mm -hmm. there's an emu! Hmm? Oh, do you mean that emu? <laughs> Molly is frantically... <laughs> <laughs> there's an emu in my car! <laughs> you look like you could cry. Ha ha ha!
<laughs> oh my. Uh, yeah, nope. No! No! <laughs> oh, the emu was frightening. Up and now it's it's alpacas of, again. I wonder if they hang out right in the beginning because they know that's where everyone has the food. All right, well, it looks like it gets a little bit easier to drive after that. That was stressful. I was about to cry. <laughs> the emu, it was the emu, wasn't it? I mean, the llamas at least are, and that one slobbering cow. Uh, it was a pretty big size safari, 350 acres. You've got a whole bunch of cows over here. I like this part much better. Mm -hmm. Giant cows. He's yeah. literally in the middle of the road. <laughs> <laughs> like literally. <laughs> you, you know, you can't move. I can't move anywhere. Smart. <laughs> Go through. No, he, his friend came over. Well, uh, I, I do hope this llama guy moves at some point. Yep. Uh, as we sit here with our new friend, a very large white llama. Oh, I would not back up. You got animals right behind you. Okay. I, I don't really know what to, oh, he's moving. Oh, there's a, man, they are sneaky. I don't know how a giant six foot tall llama type creature can be so long. Hi. Oh, hi, welcome to the car. <laughs> this is Molly. She's driving. You can just smell her hair. Well, this is an adventure. It's also interesting, like I guess all the animals don't <laughs> like to get fed, like these cows are nowhere near the people. Uh, the llamas seem very, very, very interested in food. <laughs> oh, he's very excited. Oh, and he's... No, no, oh, yeah, hi. Oh, there's some, like, little baby cow over here. And some gazelles. Dad, I will take a picture. Let's... Yeah. I don't feel like I'm gonna run someone over. Molly, wait, there's a little guy coming over. But, but I don't, I mean like, I can't see him, that's a problem. Oh, yeah. he's really neat looking. Well, that's great, but now I'm like, I'm terrified to move. Yeah, I wouldn't move right now. Yeah. Oh, there he is, he's right in front of the car. Now you can see him. Yeah, I could see him over there while I was moving. I hope some of these giant cows stay far. That's coming right for the car. <laughs> Look at the size of that guy. Can you please focus on me driving for a second? Um, yep, we got a little animal in front of you. I know. Oh, oh, oh. oh no, <laughs> you're back. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Hi. Oh, you make noise. And we're trapped again. Do you like the air conditioning? Is that why you come over to the car? <coughs> I'm take that as a yes. Hi, welcome to my car. Look at you, you're a pretty little llama. 
and you do have a lot of animals too, like they're not all attacking the cars. There's a good small guy. Do you want to feed him? He's cute. No. Okay. The other. Oh, sorry. Hit Molly in the head. Aww. Oh, it seems like the animals here have a ton of room. They do have a ton of room. It's very stressful, though, I will say. Oh, yeah. I have never been this stressed out and driving in a long, long time. <laughs> If you're curious, the bucket of feed is $5. Yes. Totally worth it. If you're not driving. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> you're not supposed to uh, roll up the windows. Yeah, because uh, I can see animals getting stuck in them. Yeah. Okay, much more peaceful. There's emus over there. Ah, the emus again. Looks like we've got wildebeest coming up over here on the left. And then uh, emus all kind of walking over there by the fence. Oh, they're running. I was going to say, they're not walking anymore. No. They, they kind of run like velociraptors. Kind of. If you could slow down real quick, I just want to get a shot of these wildebeest guys. They're interesting looking. I don't know why I turned the camera off there. That was a mistake. It looks like you got deer or something up here on the right. Alright. Um, it's Kind of, I guess you could probably pass people if you wanted to, if yeah. they're on one side. I think they're it's two lanes. Yeah. Uh, the book that they gave you does say uh, all animals the animals in it. Name. Mm -hmm. They get a pretty nice guidebook for free with yeah. the uh, as part of your mission. Yeah, I believe the more feed hungry animals definitely stake out that beginning turf. Which is understandable, but man, they need to warn you. Mm -hmm. I was, my stress level was super high. Mm -hmm. Those are pretty. Yeah. More. A lot of wildebeest over here. I guess mm -hmm. they're wildebeest. Mexican. Is that a donkey? I don't know, or some sort of a donkey type picture. Yeah. I want to say they're gazelles over there. And then uh, here's that donkey type creature. Oh, this might be water buck, I think. With yeah, the, no, with they're the targets I think on they're their definitely uh, water buck. And then a big, uh, big open amount. area. A room. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. You got some littler animals coming up here. I think it's the ones that we fed over there. I fed. Oh, like the, the friendly little guy. Yeah, the one that I couldn't see, and mm -hmm. I was like, I can't see. <laughs> and they'll just stand right in the middle of the road. Aww. Look at him with his little horns. Such cool horns, little guy. Do you want to see if you want to feed him? No. 
he, he seemed pretty happy walking. <laughs> These guys are kind of nice too because they don't come in your car. Like they'll walk up if you want to feed them, they won't stick their big giant animal necks in the car. Yes. Well, it's not like them sticking their stuff. Like, I granted that moose or cow. <laughs> no, it wasn't a moose. The I, cow that was slobbering the cow on you? that was slobbering all over. That was uh, bad. But it's just, they surround and you're mm -hmm. like, I don't know when to move. And I don't want to run it over like that. No. Like that emu. That's tons of space. Mm -hmm. Tons and tons of space. Yeah, you gotta kind of be on high alert here when you're driving. They're so peaceful. They're super peaceful. I like the one laying down. Yeah. With his ears. Now, the, uh, if you're curious, this <coughs> this is a uh, safari park is outside of Montgomery, Alabama. If you were curious and wondering like where we were in the state, that is where we are. And as with a lot of these drive-through safaris, there are going to be parts of the safari that's very exciting, and parts there's when there's just nothing at all. All the way in the back. Wow, yeah, they're way in the back over there. And this is probably one of those parts where there's uh, nothing going on. Oh, these guys are very pretty coming up on the left with the horns. Look at that animal. That is really neat. Very, very pretty. <laughs> I would say the pricing here is pretty reasonable. Uh, $21.95 mm -hmm. for adults. Uh, definitely a very unique attraction is uh, with that animal feeding experience. Oh man. I almost had a heart attack. Mm -hmm. You can tell. <laughs> it's one thing if they like warn you, hey, mm -hmm. just FYI, as soon as you get in there, you're getting attacked. Mm -hmm. Looks like coming up, we got a couple of large emus or ostriches and then some camels. I believe the camels are on the, the other side of a fence. So like the camels cannot come right up to your car. Mm. <clears throat> See a couple of emus here. That was the, that was probably the most terrifying animal that came up in. Uh... <clears throat> Look how people just throw their buckets. Well, I think the camels probably knocked it out of their hands. I guess you can feed the camels if you got really close over there. They're nice, uh... but there's definitely some more safety precautions around them than the other animals. Yeah, they're hey guys, cool. Yeah. You know, we, we can't get out of the cars, camels. No, oh, she is. Probably pick up all the pockets. Mm -hmm. <coughs> oh, we're now being followed by a herd of camels. Can't say I've probably had that happen at any time in my life. A herd of camels following my car. Get closer? No, that's fine. They, they would be difficult to uh, that. And I can tell with those buckets on the ground. 
these guys are probably good at knocking him out of the hands. Oh yeah. Smart camels. And lots of little animals relaxing over there. It's interesting that the small animals can get in the camp. Yeah. Area. Also, it seems like at least in the safari so far, it's been free roaming. Like yes. there, there's been no like, up, besides the camels, like everyone can pretty much go wherever they want. Lots of neat trees too. There's one guy laying, yeah, down, in laying down in the forest area. <laughs> Scratching. See some giant bales of hay over here for food. Another very pretty animal. I wonder if we drive up next to him, will you want to come over for some food? Wow, look how pretty you are. Do you want to look at the size of that poop next to him? Food? Do you want some food? I think you're too little. Hope you enjoyed your snack. Still got a, a sizable amount of feed here. Well, it makes sense if camels can rip it out and yeah. at the very beginning you just get attacked and mm -hmm. if you don't not. Yeah, and they you go through your feed very fast or very slow. Like it's interesting because you got it reminds me like throwing beads at the Mardi Gras at Universal, where you want to try to pace yourself so you have plenty. I'm pretty sure you can feed this uh, alpaca again. I, I'm pretty sure whether or not we want to feed this alpaca, he's probably going to pay us a visit. <laughs> Molly keeps trying to drive out of the way and he just walks right up. Well, I would rather him be on your side than my side. Yeah, I think he's coming right in. Yep, you see the whole bucket of feed, don't you? Here, you get up a little bit, come on in. You're very gentle. Some of the other guys are not as gentle. Oh, uh, now you're not very gentle. <laughs> and it's uh, nice that it's not on both sides. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to go this He's way. He's big. I'm going to go this way. I'm trying not to run over you. Bye. Here's your feet. They're really pretty. Mm Yeah, you went to the wrong side of the car. Sorry. I'm like super afraid of running over their feet. Mm -hmm. Oh, now that giant fly is in the car. Lovely. Oh, he smarted up. Nope, nope, nope. Uh, hi. We're free to move on to the next area. See, like that I don't mind when there's only one at a yeah, time. Yeah, when they sneak up on but you. But like, uh, 
when there's four heads in the car mm -hmm. at the beginning. You're like, oh no. And then like, I would be looking out your window and I wouldn't realize that like one had popped up on mine. I'd be kind of frightened. Yeah. All right, this large fuzzy cow here. Uh, you know, this thing's probably gonna come right in and try to slobber all over the car. Please don't be careful with those horns, pal. I don't think you, please don't. Just do it. Oh, look at that. Look at his big, big face. I don't think he could really get in the car because his horns are too big. No, no he's looking for food. I, he, he's pretty cool. Yeah, it's kind of cool. And the cow has moved on. I think I do see a fence coming up ahead in which it looks like it's going to be a change of areas. Hi. Do you want a little bit? I don't mind. That's fun. <laughs> yeah, we definitely got some different animals coming. <gasps> zebras! There's zebras at the very front. There was one zebra. But these look like zebras that want to eat food. Well, the other one was eating out of the... Uh, somebody else's? Yeah, someone else's car. I definitely want to feed a zebra inside my car. I'll try to get the zebras on your side. Mm -hmm. First, there's probably this alpaca coming. Mm -hmm. The animals seem pretty intelligent here on how to get food. Yes. Go to Molly's side. Please go to Molly's side. Please go to Molly's side. Please go to Molly's side. Good job. Hi. It sees it. See, these guys are gentle too. Like, I'm not yeah. afraid they're gonna bite. Yeah. Oh no, he's figured it out. He's figured it out. He's like, where is it? Oh, there's some pellets on the ground. <laughs> Not the drool. Not the drool. This will be a, a wonderful thing. We're, we're currently on our, our road trip throughout parts of America here. And uh, now the car is going to be covered in pellets. There was sand from the beach yesterday. This thing's going to be quite the mess by the end. Oh, here comes zebras. Here comes zebras. Zebras, zebras, zebras. Yeah, the zebras, uh, they, they are hanging out right at the start of the zebra area. Well, I'm assuming it's just like the other ones. These <laughs> yeah. are the angry ones. Uh-oh. Hi. Whoa, it's got a giant face. It has a really giant face. Want to feed it? Yeah, absolutely. Hopefully, I... Oh, it died! <laughs> it tugs hard. It's okay. like okay. very much in the car. 
gosh, look at the size of this thing. No! <laughs> he just he just walks along with the car. Let's see with the zebra over here. <laughs> Oh, we got ostriches coming up? Uh, he almost took my bucket, that zebra. I, I, I saw. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's hard because, like, I'm afraid it's going to bite me. Yeah. <laughs> so I only had it with one hand, and I was like, mm -hmm. don't need both hands on this bucket. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, no, not stopping <laughs> for you. <laughs> Nope. Nope. Be careful. Nope. Nope. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry guys, you're not getting a good picture of that. <laughs> that and emus. Yeah, they're uh, terrifying when their heads get stuck I mean, stuck especially in the, the ostriches are very, very large. Yeah. The emus are a little bit on the, on the smaller size. Yeah. It's nice that you're not backed up. Yes, like uh, we, we are doing this on a weekday, uh, a Wednesday in the afternoon. He's pretty. Mm -hmm. Over there all by himself. <laughs> and Molly's gonna keep driving quickly yeah. so that ostrich does not catch up. I'll let you get a good view of him. But ostriches can run. Mm -hmm. Don't know why I turned the camera off again that time. You were afraid of the ostrich? Might have been afraid of the ostrich, yeah. And it, there was a sign that said uh, cars can pass each other. Yeah. So, that's, that's good. Mm-hmm. Uh, they were definitely not kidding about the 350 acres. He's pretty. Yeah, big animal too. Another ostrich. Here. You're right, you're looking one way and then another. Yeah, way. the animal surprises you. Yeah, yeah. Walk I, in the middle? I, yeah, you could kind of tell the animals that want food as they kind of walk in the middle of the road. I don't know where the food is. I it's it's your feet. beneath your legs. Oh man! Wow, look at his nose. Uh, slobber. I will say, if you like llamas, this is probably the place for you. The llamas are very, very friendly. It's also hard to drive on one side. So yeah. It's like edible stay. Mm -hmm. I'm like zigzagging. He's really pretty. Mm -hmm. Oh, they're slopping all down. Oh, the car. yeah. <laughs> oh, my. He landed on me. Got a drip on my arm. Oh, well, good thing we have paper towels in the back seat. <laughs> you have a couple of different animals over there in the field. Turning it up because you're hot? Yeah. Or you no, want to attract a llama? I was not trying to attract a llama, but that, that did happen. Hey, buddy.
small little guy too. Oh yeah. But they love like during hot times. Yeah, lying under there once, you, yeah, when they're once not you're not full. Yeah, once you're full. Mm -hmm. Uh, different llamas they have. You know? Yeah. Uh, it seems like they show up every five feet. Uh -huh. Yeah, they're a little llama heavy, I think, on the uh, on the old drive-through safari here. And then they trap you. You can't move, they come in, they might stick your head in the car, they might move on. And then I think if you stop and like they, they see the one of the animals stops for a while, then other animals would come on over. Like we've been stopped, but this guy's to get his face in, in the window. Then his pal's gonna come over and do the same thing. This is what I don't like. Mm -hmm. the, the multiple animals, the double attack. Well, I don't wanna hit them. No. Really pretty. Yeah. Sorry, you're pretty too. <laughs> yeah, don't, don't insult the llama. Take a bite out of the car. Ooh, it, did somebody break down? Is that what happened over there? I'm assuming yes. That is exactly what happened. Which is weird, there's no ranger. Like two rangers have passed me. Yeah, I imagine that maybe they're getting there. Maybe, there's uh, one right there, so yeah. I was gonna say, that's a tough place to break down in the middle of the drive through safari. You'll just get attacked by alpacas over and over again. And some really pretty animals over there. I know I was distracted by the car breaking down. Well, look at those guys. They seem like they all stay together. Yes. Like that species? Yes. Another uh, giant. Look at that, the, a big, a big like a Watusi cattle or Texas Longhorn kind of thing. Yeah. Uh, so far, I've had no problems with the animals getting near the car. These giant horn cows, I would prefer they don't get too close to the car. Well, this guy's, uh, you know, mm -hmm. maybe I should roll up my window? I, I don't know. Uh, he, he, he's, uh, he's coming. Oh, yeah. Wow, what a beautiful animal, too. Uh oh, please be gentle, cow. Hi. Oh, you are very pretty looking. You are very, very pretty. Oh. <laughs> Hi. Look at your big nose. Yep. And the horn just bumped the cup of my car. That's why I didn't move. <laughs> I imagine this gets really wild too, like if you have a family of four and everyone has a bucket of feed. Yeah. I imagine it would be very nerve wracking for moms trying to watch your kids and then you have an animal attacking you as well. I mean, at the beginning, I had a heart attack almost with three, uh, three animals' heads in our car. Look at the llamas are just peacefully sitting in the forest. Lots of big cows over here. Oh, that guy's coming. Oh, a baby! Uh-oh. Uh-oh. It's a baby, though. Aww. That's not a baby. <laughs> Hi. 
Mama, can you please move so I can move? Oh, the baby moved. Oh, the baby tail's right next to us, too. Can you see the baby? Um. Oops. Am I good to move? Uh. The baby is on the other, on side. The other side of mom. Okay. Down there. And there's a couple mm -hmm. older ones. And some with very, very large horns. Yeah. Yeah. I'm glad we're in your car, <laughs> on my new car. Yeah, you have a much newer automobile. And you've got uh, like animals all the way over there, like eating the trees next to the fence. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> I think these are baby zebras. Yeah. Like the ones laying down yeah, near this cottage Yeah, I think so. Thing. I think that is a baby zebra. I think there's two baby zebras. Let's zoom in and find out. We get a little bit closer. Yeah, it looks like a two little baby zebras. One sleepy, one not asleep. And then I'm guessing mom. I'm shocked that you can get so close to zebras. Yeah. I didn't know if that car behind me wanted to pass me. That was a good opportunity right there. Lots of safari who? Yeah, we've been going for a while. How's our feed doing? I'll, I'll take the bucket bag. Let's see uh, what our feed level is at. It's about half. About half, yeah. I wonder what's coming up next. I want to say they're probably wildebeest. Yeah. They have that color, the color ring. Mm -hmm. Animals way in the back over there. We do have a massive amount of area. Yeah. And good, good enough shade too. Like mm -hmm. some safaris, you don't see any shade. But then if these are, a lot of these guys are like African plains animals, and you would think that they probably Want. are used to yeah. that kind of environment. There's a squirrel. There is a squirrel. I imagine the squirrels probably enjoy it because a lot of the pellets get dropped. Look at the wildebeest. This is very cool. Unfortunately, I don't think the wildebeest want to come eat. No, I don't think they do. No, they like the grass. Yeah. But they're cool. Mm-hmm. And it, it's kind of an adventure, too. You don't know what animal you're going to see next. No. And they kind of just pop up. Yeah. Like they hear the car. Or... Mm -hmm. Oh, that's 
we could come up on a large animal. Yes. Up next. It's a bison or a buffalo? I don't know, but he's standing right in the middle of the road. Mm -hmm. Feed? Yeah, I want to feed a buffalo. Look, they're big fuzzy head. Okay, well, I'll try to get him on your side then. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, it, it looks like buffalo and deer. Hold the bucket. Oh, man. Because this guy, uh, I can feel like he, he, uh... Pretty deer, too. All right. All right, buff. Want some food? Nope. Can your head get that high? Oh! Oh! Oh my god! No, throw some out! Throw some out! Just here. Oh, he smells terrible! Oh, oh, oh. He's like, don't do that! No! Oh! Oh, he smells horrible! Can you get in? Can you get out? Is he rubbing his nose? He's scratching himself. Oh my god. Oh my god. It might smell so bad. What the heck? Oh. It's all over my head. <laughs> oh, little buffaloes. Okay. Oh. 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 What a stinky animal. <laughs> it's literally all over my head right now. Oh my gosh. Okay, well. Well, that was an experience. He uh, he did not fit in the car very well. And he is. What? It, that, he was scratching okay. himself. Okay, that's only good. He was scratching himself on my car. I know. He was also like his mouth was almost too big for the bucket. He had to kind of like bend it for uh to feed the bison there. Yeah, kids would definitely like their feed. Mm-hmm. Uh, word of wisdom, uh, if you have a couple cars in your household, take your oldest one that you care least amount. Oh, this is a nice friendly deer. Maybe the deer will come up. Oh, nope, it's very skittish. Oh, oh God, it's on the bucket. <laughs> the spit? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, that's why I said it's Look on the, me. the coloring of it. I was hoping that nice friendly deer would come over for some, but he seems like he's rather skittish over there. He's a pretty deer. I know. And he's probably very gentle, unlike that bison. Yeah. Driving down the middle of the road again. Uh, it's hard to be on one side when it gets, like, especially at this point. Well, I try to uh, do a side if uh, I know a car directly mm -hmm. behind me, but the car that was directly behind me uh, now has a buffalo head. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, he's enjoying that smell. <laughs> I'd probably take hand sanitizers or like baby wipes or something. Mm -hmm. And it's just an area of nothing. But again, you also, you gotta be very careful. You don't know when an animal could be darting out. Yeah. Especially on a day like today when it's not very busy. Man, this is wild. It's just a whole field of nothing. Like this to me seems like where bison would probably want to hang out. Huh? Nope, they like to hang out uh, in, in the car. In the car, yeah. <laughs> they get, get, get their head scratches. It's smelly, smelly animal. They're cool though, that's bad. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I guess you never really get close to bison, so you... Yeah, that's definitely uh, mm -hmm. an experience.
differently. A, a lull over here in this area, but it does show off how vast this place is. So you do a, a large watering hole. Yeah, interesting. There no no animals like to hang out over here. Huh? You have the other side of the Yeah, way over there. Which I'm guessing we probably passed by there already. We did. I feel like I'm gonna find these pellets in the car for like months. Oh, 100%, yes. say it's definitely worth it that spend that five dollars on that feeding bucket just be forewarned mm -hmm. they will attack you mm -hmm. i was not expecting that right whenever we came in mm -mm. mild heart attack yeah because like normally i've done other drive through safaris but i've never done them with a feed bucket no i've never done the feed bucket one yeah and normally and most safaris they kind of stay like they stay out of the way yeah because like, they don't want to be near you too close to you. you don't want to be near them but obviously when you're feeding them they uh they're very much more interested than normal yeah we are on a real dry spell with animals we're also near the breakdown oh the, uh, the automobile issues yeah. Yeah, I wonder if they have like somebody that's somewhat of a mechanically inclined on staff, or do they have to call like AAA and bring the, the tow truck in here? I don't know. I think they're going though. Oh, right. That was a car, I think. Yeah, I think that was them that was broken down as well. Yeah. Well, you got some animals running very fast over here, so do be careful once you get to these guys. Good shot of these antelope kind of animals. I can pull up just a little bit more so I can see them through the window here. That that's really neat. They are cool. in poop, I think. No, I think it was the buffalo bucket. Oh, oh, the buffalo slobber. I'm gonna have nightmares about the buffalo stench. There's an emu again. Mm -hmm. And just where they keep like a whole thing filled with giant bales of hay. Yeah, you can see there's like in this forest area. Yeah, some llamas. Lots of llamas. Lots 
Llamas, 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 llamas. Didn't move fast enough. They're kind of smelly. Oh, yeah, that's what I thought too. I don't have any. It's a pretty lengthy experience too. Yeah. See another ostrich walking over there. We see if this ostrich could come over to my side of the park. Uh, it's not a good passing zone. Wait, wait, I think I might have him. Oh. Ah! It's so violent! It's so violent! Ah! Oh no! <laughs> ah! I thought it would have been gentle. This guy looks. How did you think that was a Hey, what gentle? about this guy? He looks really cute. Want some feed? You're so pretty. You're here. No, you're, you're not hungry, are you? Food? Hmm? Yes? No? Beautiful animal you are. Thanks for stopping by my car. All right, Molly, you were right about the ostriches. That was it's terrifying. I, I thought it would have been a nice, like, oh, let me get some nibbles in. No, no, no. There was, there was no, let's get some nibbles in. It was a, a all-out violent pecking attack, and it's hard. Like I tried to move it over there, but the, uh, his, 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 his neck's so long. And it, it just sharp like beak. Yeah. And it gets all over my pants. I don't want the ostrich pecking at my pants. Yeah. Important stuff in those pants. Oh, look at him. Oh, fuzzy cow. I believe we are coming up on the end of our safari experience here. I want to say this, yeah, this fence, it looks like it takes us to the gift shop. And then- It's interesting, no one's there now. At yeah. The entrance. See, like, if it was like that, I would mm -hmm. be like, okay. Mm -hmm. But, First driving in and it's attack everything. Mm -hmm, yeah. Yep, indeed. I'm guessing this cow probably doesn't want the rest of this food. Well, we have goats that we can get out and feed. Oh no, he looks smelly. All right, and that'll do it for the Alabama Safari Park. What an adventure. There are like pigs and goats in a gift shop you can feed. There's also a giraffe feeding experience as well coming up over here. But that is it for the drive through park. Uh, Molly, you probably need a beer, I imagine. <laughs> oh my goodness. The first part, like, just scared me because there was, like, mm. four animals. I couldn't see anything. Uh, I didn't know I want to run anyone over like the car in front of me did. I think you did a good job. I don't think you ran anyone over. Well, thank you. Thank you. I mm. tried. Alrighty, let's go uh, see what else the, the park has to offer here. 
So here's the petting zoo area. If you have any feed left over, you can feed the animals over here. Looks like, I want to say these are rias. And they've got goats and then a couple of very large pigs. Now the giraffes here, unfortunately, you don't feed them the grain like you feed everyone else. You can buy special giraffe food in the, in the gift shop, which I believe is leaves. We do have a couple macaws hanging out over here. One there, and then the other guy's hiding way in the back over here. There is also a uh, budgie aviary feeding experience where you could feed these guys as well. I believe they have a special type of food also, like you buy that in the gift shop. It's like little sticks. There is also a kangaroo area here. They're all sleepy. I see them over there, lounging around. And that will do it for our time here at the Alabama Safari Park. I loved it so incredibly Very unique. Very different. Uh, it, uh, I get to go to a lot of zoos and uh, animal kind of parks, but I've never had that kind of experience anywhere. It does look like they have lemurs on the island over there too. Uh, you can see their tails sticking up. Yeah, you can. But man, I had a blast. Totally recommend it if you're in this area. Uh, it, it's an experience you will not soon forget.